Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are working on an algebra problem, specifically a first degree equation problem. So the question says, if the sum of 5, 8, 12, and 15 is equal to the sum of 3, 4, and x plus 3, what is the value of x? So this is a word problem, and in this case what we want to do is we want to go through this sentence that's written in English, and we want to translate it into math. So let's go through this sentence one more time slowly, and let's try to do that step by step. So the first part of the question or the statement says if the sum of 5, 8, 12, and 15. So that would be the first part that I would focus on. So if you remember the sum, that means that you're adding those together. So we would want to write this as 5 plus 8 plus 12 plus 15. So again, that's this part here. Let's see if I can do a straight line. There we go. Perfect. So the second part says is equal to. So this is the second part of our equation. Excuse the, the sideways line, but I'm just going to leave that. So for that, we're going to go ahead and just write an equal sign. That one's really easy. That's all equal to means. So now we're going to look at this third part, this part here. And that again says the sum of 3, 4, and x plus 3. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're again going to add these three terms together. So 3 plus 4 plus x plus 3. All right, so from here, all we are going to do is simplify and just solve for x. So this is really the most difficult part of the question, is just being able to go from the words and translating it into an algebraic equation. So now, on this side, I would start out by noticing that 8 plus 12 is 20. So these are going to equal 20. And then when I look at what I'm left with, I also have a 5 and a 15, which is 20. So I'm going to go ahead and write that as 20 plus 20. Don't worry about that if you don't really see it that way. Those are just kind of mental shortcuts that I personally take, just so that I don't have to rely on a calculator as much. I kind of try to identify, you know, little patterns or shortcuts just to make it easier. But if you do need to add it step by step, feel free to do that. You're going to get the exact same answer. It just might take you a second, a second longer, but in the end, Excuse me, in the in the grand scheme of things, that's not really going to matter. Okay, now moving on is equal to. So now here I have a 3 plus 4, which is 7, and then I have another 3 here, which gives me 10. So 10 plus x. Now I'm going to go ahead and write this as 40 is equal to 10 plus x. And now I'm going to get, I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So I'm going to get 30 is equal to x. All right, oops, and I used the wrong color, is equal to x. Okay, great. So this here is going to be my final answer. So I think that wraps up today's video. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you do have any content requests or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. I do check those and I will do my best to get back to everyone. And lastly, before I let you go, I put together a GMAT formula sheet for you guys. So don't forget to take advantage of that by clicking on the image to the left. All right, well, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.